are here because we think we can offer a very competitive product. It is a very, very effective platform, both when it comes to operational capabilities and flexibility and modularity, but also when we are talking about the way they are constructed and built. What we see here is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is one, uh, one of the, the, the high-end frigates, you could argue. That is, uh, that is the Ivar Wittfeld class uh, frigates. And, uh, and then uh, before that, uh, we built the two Absalon class frigates, uh, which is basically a, a multi-purpose frigate that is also uh, having a uh, 90 by 10 meters cargo hold, roll on, roll off deck, you could argue, inside a frigate. So these five ships are built on the same hull, but they are uh, slightly uh, different in the way they are fitted. So you have the, the, the frigates with four big uh, MTU diesel engines, uh, giving them a top speed of plus 30 knots, enabling them to be plane guard in a carrier battle group, which they have just done both in US and in France. And then you have a, uh, a vertical uh, launcher, uh, multi-missile launcher VL-41, uh, that are able to uh, actually host the whole US missile family. And apart from that, you have the Danish containerized uh, weapon systems uh, to complement that. And in the uh, Absalon class, which we have a model uh, of here, that's a built-it-yourself model though, but anyway, it is the same uh, hull design, but uh, it is uh, with uh, this cargo hold, so it can have up to 37 20-foot uh, TEU containers in the cargo hold or equivalent cargo like battle tanks, SOF uh, base, uh, hospital ship. Uh, we have also used them for removing chemical agents from Syria and Libya. So this is uh, basically the maritime version of the Swiss army knife, you could argue. So we have these five ships based on the same hull, which actually enabled uh, the shipyard, uh, Odense uh, shipyard, the Merck line shipyard, to build uh, this whole line in one production line, and uh, OMT, who uh, who have built them, uh, are now uh, uh, trying to export this design. So this year uh, we're showcasing a multi-role vessel. We're seeing a lot of interest in a larger support-type vessel for uh, smaller navies. Um, that are more useful for humanitarian relief but also uh, just other general duties. Uh, auxiliary vessels seem to be uh, more of interest. We've also got a logistics vessel um, about 100 meters in length that can be used for moving transportation troops. Uh, we feel that's a, a future for sort of West African countries. We have business in Latin America. We're seeing interest in replacing uh, older tonnage that uh, that is definitely of interest to us to, to, to showcase these products. The Vard 7313 is basically, um, it has the flight deck, uh, it's pretty traditional but it flexible uh, spaces on board for the multi-role, uh, can also do hospital duties, um, but resupply, uh, disaster relief. It's a commercial platform, obviously not a, a, a naval type um, combat vessel, but um, you know, very functional and, uh, and cost effective uh, solution. Our Bard 7510, again, is, is a logistic vessel moving troops, hardware, uh, be able to load um, onto the shore, uh, but at the same time being able to transit in blue water conditions um, and, and have the flexibility of being uh, like a, a lower storage for vehicles, etc., on, on a lower storage deck, but have an open upper deck that allows you to carry containers Crane, uh, crane equipment and, and uh, cargo off and on. These are uh, basically these have been inquiries that we've uh, received in the last 12 months. So we realised that we should look at developing a new product that, that uh, can meet the market demands. Uh, we can't afford to sit back and wait. Uh, so we're trying to be proactive and had products that that our customers uh, will be looking for in the next next few years. So 
we have uh, two innovations that we want to present that we are presenting here. The first one is the SIDOM. The SIDOM is basically the naval uh, application for a system that we are very proud of is the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome is a life-saving system that we are using in the uh, state of Israel. Saved many, many lives and is in operational use, a very successful one in the last, uh, in the, uh, uh, last conflicts, including the one that happened two weeks ago. So basically what we are doing, we decided not to invent the wheel, but we took all the legacy that we have uh, uh, created in the Iron Dome, all the algorithms, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, and we have done that to the naval uh, uh, user. So basically the interceptor is the same. The interception algorithms are the same. What is changed is everything that has to be adapted to the naval arena, meaning the launcher is a naval launcher. The interface to the, uh, uh, to the ship, to the ship uh, systems, for example, the CMS, the command control station, the radar, is different and is unique. This system is in the last stages of development. It is going to be uh, operational next year and basically it's going to incorporate all the capabilities of the famous Iron Dome plus the ability to work in the naval arena. In addition to that, we are pre uh, presenting the Sea Spotter. The Sea Spotter is the uh, new version of the IRST the IR steering uh, radar. Uh, this is basically, when you're looking uh, at the, uh, again, in the modern arena, you do not want to radiate. You don't want, you don't want always to use a traditional radar. So we have uh, developed an IR radar, basically develop, uh, based on uh, uh, our EO capabilities, which is our one of our expertise. And basically you have a 360 degrees of a radar without emitting anything in a various uh, environmental and atmospheric conditions and uh, although we have presented that we have in the last two years invested a lot of money in improving and what we're presenting here is the latest uh, version of that with a very uh, high probability of uh, detection and a very low probability of false alarms.